Facebook and YouTube. Hey guys, it's Rachel here. Up first, today's talker and Team USA at the Olympics. One U.S. Olympian is turning to her friends, family and fans to raise enough money to go to the Tokyo Games next year. Do you think the U.S. should sponsor Olympic athletes? Cast your vote right now at 12news.com slash bullhorn or comment down below if you're watching on Facebook or YouTube. The results minutes away. Hashtag most clicked. Here are the stories that are piquing everyone's interest right now. Chandler police arrest a woman tying her to a deadly hit and run crash. Investigators say Michelle Ann Hagerman plowed her SUV into Mohammed Misma Udin and his 12 year old son Abdullah on Monday night, then drove away. The crash killing both of them while they were walking to an evening prayer service at the Islamic Center off the East Village. Number two most clicked. When I tell you to do something, you do it. Phoenix Police Chief Jerry Williams firing Officer Christopher Meyer seen in a video that has gone viral across America. In the video, Meyer leg sweeps and cusses at Drayvon Ames, his girlfriend and their child after an alleged shoplifting incident. Chief Williams firing Meyer along with two other officers for unrelated offenses. Full details on the 12 News app. Number three, a warning for those of you who may have visited Disneyland last week. The LA Health Department says if you visited last Wednesday, October 16th, you may have been exposed to measles. If you're vaccinated, you should be okay. If you develop a fever or unexplained rash, stay home and call your doctor immediately. In today's Pulse on Health, breast implants may soon come with stronger warnings. The FDA says it wants manufacturers to add the strongest form of warning, a boxed warning, to their devices. It would list all possible complications, including rare cancers, and that the risk for developing complications increases the longer you have the implants. The FDA will hear public comment before finalizing the new guidelines. A new study from the University of Vermont finds we're more likely to keep using tobacco products if the first one we try is flavored. Researchers found those that first have a mint or menthol flavored cigarette are more likely to use it again the following year. Similar findings were linked with flavored e-cigarettes, cigars, hookah and smokeless tobacco products. More Pulse on Health now. Have you heard? We found the fountain of youth. Well, sort of. Thanks to a new study, scientists may actually be able to turn back time. Let's connect the dots. Researchers in California say they've made a surprising discovery in a recent study, the ability to reverse someone's biological age. So how did it happen and how does it work? Let's connect the dots. Humans have been looking for a so-called fountain of youth for hundreds of years, but that's not what these scientists were after. They were trying to restore the thymus gland in test subjects, which is crucial for an efficient immune system. According to the journal Nature, they gave the healthy volunteers a cocktail of a growth hormone and two diabetes medications, and just as an afterthought, decided to test the subject's biological age. On average, they shed 2.5 years, and their immune system showed signs of rejuvenation. Even better, the effects lasted for at least six months after treatment was stopped. Now, before you get too excited, this study was only done on nine people. So to say more research needs to be done is an understatement. But here's hoping we can soon throw away that Botox. It is opening day for not one, not two, but three organizations here in the Valley. Up first, the Phoenix Suns. Basketball season officially gets underwear tonight at Talking Stick Resort Arena in downtown Phoenix. The Suns taking on the Sacramento Kings for the big season home opener. Suns finishing the preseason with a two and two record, so we'll have to see if they're ready for the real deal. The new Fry's store across the street from the Suns Arena is now open for business. It's the first grocery store in the downtown Phoenix area. It is a big deal for people living downtown who have waited a long time for a full service grocery store in walking distance or just a couple of stops down the light rail. The third big opening, White Castle in North Scottsdale. It's the chain's first Arizona restaurant. Some people waiting in line for sliders for 96 hours. If you want to relive your childhood or try out sliders for the first time, the White Castle is in the Talking Stick Entertainment District off Loop 101 across from Odyssey. With the opening, Tram asked you, what's your favorite burger joint? Junior Leonard likes Artie's Drive-In up in Page, Arizona. Paul Tatz prefers a classic, Bob's Big Boy. And Marge Smith says she still likes In-N-Out, which of course is a staple for many of us here in the Valley. In other news, two Arizona high schools are in the national spotlight. Up first, the Catalina Foothills High School Band.
The guys and gals are getting ready to perform in the one and only Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. This is the second time that the parade is tapping the Southern Arizona School to perform. The last time back in 2006. The students have been preparing for it since submitting their application way back in February, and it's sure to be an exciting adventure. Parade itself is incredible and uh, being on the streets of New York and even the dress rehearsal is incredible because it's at two or three in the morning and everything's dark and very quiet and then the cameras are exciting for the kids and they'll have a lot of experiences while they're there. The students recently recording a video for NBC which will air during the telecast of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. You'll see that in a little more than a month only on 12 News. Well, the students and staff at Round Valley High School in Eagar are among the final eight in the country vying for the top spot for America's best high school football stadium. It is the only domed high school football stadium in the country. See how you can vote on 12news.com. Well, for those of us who have to watch the kids play football outdoors this Friday, we may need a blanket. Crystal joining us with the Forecast 411. Temperatures in the 90s probably won't do the trick for you. So how about glancing at this photo to give you your fall fix? It is just bursting with yellow. Carrie, one of our 12 News weather watchers, hanging out at Snowball. Thanks for sharing that beauty. Tonight, great sleeping weather. weather. Throw that window wide open. 61 degrees in Phoenix at a minimum. 42 for Payson. Below freezing in Flagstaff in the Grand Canyon. If you're going to be out late, you're going to be hugging that coat tightly. 60 for Winslow, 63 in Prescott tomorrow. 72 in Globe and 87 for a maximum in Phoenix. It is the last week to check out the Arizona State Fair if you're going to be going tomorrow to get your favorite food wrapped in bacon. 81 degrees at noon. Take the rides for a whirl at 4 o'clock, 86 degrees, and by 8, double sevens. The seven-day forecast features temperatures getting closer to average for the weekend with sunshine and some breezes to wrap up the week. In your daily juice, Meghan Markle makes her first public appearance since an explosive documentary where she reveals all the scrutiny and media attention has left her feeling vulnerable. Markle attending the opening ceremony of the One Young World Summit. She and Prince Harry have started their own charitable foundation, which will focus on young people, the environment and conservation. Alec Baldwin says he'll be doing his infamous President Trump role a few more times on SNL, but then he's done. He says he's only doing it after some convincing from Lorne Michaels. Baldwin has said many times he hates playing the role. He even once wished a meteor would crash into 30 Rock just so he wouldn't have to do it anymore. Well, time now for A to Z 60, where we celebrate the people, places, and things that make the Valley awesome in just 60 seconds. Well, it's awesome, but a little creepy too. Colleen shows us where we can scare a friend or some coworkers with a donut delivery that just might make your skin crawl. It's the time of year with haunted houses and scary movies and Hertz Donut Company has a special helper to make your dozen delivery with a side of creepy. We're not the typical donut shop around town. What better way to celebrate Halloween and give a good scare to someone you love? We have someone dressed up in a scary clown costume and just go to offices, residences, homes and, and deliver donuts. We get the whole office involved or we get everyone in the family involved and uh, it's just, it's a lot of fun. So we tagged along to see one of the Hertz Donut Clowns in action, surprising an office in Tempe. <laughs> Scary. Thanks. Pretty good prank, Nicole pulled. The good part, the clown comes with donuts. <laughs> Sweet and sour, sweet and scary. All right, if you've got somebody that you want to give a little bit of a fright to, you've got until the end of October to do it. And that's your A to Z60. That just looks awful to me. All right, take a look at this. We are now seeing the official logo for the 2024 Summer Olympic Games in Paris. The image combines three symbols, the Olympic flame, a gold medal, and the symbol of the French Republic. However, some people are saying they think it looks like the Tinder logo, as in the online dating app. I did not see that at all. I kind of see two dolphins kissing. What do you guys think? Well, speaking of the Olympics, let's get back to today's talker. One U.S. Olympian is turning to her friends, family, even her fans, to
to raise enough money to go to the Tokyo Games next year. We are the only country that makes our elite athletes pay their own way and is pretty expensive. For athletes in niche sports that really don't have sponsorships, it can be especially expensive. So we're asking, should the U.S. sponsor Olympic athletes and pay for them to go to the Games? Right now, 72% of you are saying, yes, why not? But 28% still saying, nah, I don't think so. Keep on voting on 12news.com slash bullhorn. And those of you watching on Facebook and YouTube, you can always comment down below. Time now for the look ahead, the stories you'll be talking about a little later on today. And we're sticking with that Olympic theme. Super swimmer Ryan Lochte is now opening up about his struggles and his suspension. The changes he's made and a possible fifth Olympics this afternoon on 12 News First at 4. That'll do it for your 12 at 12, the facts on everything you need to know in just 12 minutes. No commercials. We are always on anywhere, anytime on 12news.com, the 12 News app, and on our socials as well. We'll see you again real soon. And now let's check in with Destry to see what's next on Arizona Midday. Coming up on Arizona Midday, we are getting you ready for Halloween by pairing candy and beer. Oh yeah, it works. We're going to show that to you. Plus we have free tickets to the